Hi! Welcome to my channel, DIY Enjoyment. In the first lesson, we created some nodes. In this lesson, I want to draw an enclosure corresponding to the nodes. So, click on BEM tab. Click on this area to open its related window. Subdomain. What's a subdomain? A subdomain is actually a part of a whole. For example, your room is a part of your house and is a subdomain. Outside the room is another subdomain, and the door of your room is an interface between the room and the outside space. Therefore, you can consider the room as an interior subdomain, the outside of it as an exterior subdomain, and the door of the room as an interface. Suppose an enclosure with a small opening. This opening is a connection between the inside and outside of the enclosure. We can consider the inside of the box as an interior subdomain, and the outside of it as an exterior subdomain. Since the opening is a connection between the inside and the outside, you consider it as an interface. You can perform it on this software. Click on Subdomain and choose Apply. You can choose a name for it on the first tab. For example, inside. Click on the second tab. There are two options here, interior and exterior, according to set explanation. Choose interior for now and click on apply. It's the time to draw the enclosure. Click on Elements, then Apply. You can choose a name on the first tab. For example, Inside. Click on Planes. Now focus on your created points. Follow this direction and enter these node numbers into the planes. 1004, 1005. 1006, 1003. Click on Apply. As you can see, we have drawn the first part of the body. Since your created nodes was rectangle 1, you must choose it correctly. Do it for all nodes to complete the shape. The colored plane should be facing inward. For this, click on Swap Normals. Don't worry about these three tabs. I'll explain them if necessary. Now click on Boundaries. There are three options here. Reflective is used for hard walls. For example, a speaker enclosure without damping material on its inner walls is a kind of reflective wall. Wall impedance, when the inner walls are covered with damping material, selected accordingly. Driven, driven is used for all acoustic sources that you create. This software assigns these colors to these boundaries. Gray for reflective, green for wall impedance, and red for driven.
Click on the General tab where you defined your nodes. Double-click on this area to open its related window. Choose Wall Impedance and click on Apply. You can choose a name here. Click on Parameters, damping when you cover the inside of your speaker enclosure with the damping material. Enter a number here to define your damping value. 0.2 is a good value. Of course, it depends on your damping material. Now, return to the BEM tab and choose Wall Impedance accordingly in the Boundaries window. After these steps, you've almost created a damped enclosure. But when the box is completely implemented, has a disadvantage. Especially when it has a complicated form the calculations will be too slow. What's your tip? Let's go to fix it. Divide the box into four equal parts, and consider one part. Divide the node's values by 2 on the X and Y axis. Click on Global, BEM Parameter, Symmetry, and choose XY. Then click on OK. It's so important to create a symmetry in this software. When you create a symmetry on the X and Y axis, your implemented shape has a symmetry on the X and Y axis, which makes the software calculation faster. It's useful when you design a complicated shape, like horns. In fact, it calculates one part and multiplies it by four. As you can see, we have two additional bodies that can be removed simply. Good luck, and have a good time.